reveal confirmed information elsewhere. First contact made. Noting early progress for Yay and crashes it. There's only one member. Less has been left to try and anchor on B site here and haven't really progressed anywhere else on the map. No real confirmed information elsewhere. And first contact made. Noting Yay and the follow up. So you're now going to know at least two players towards long. So he's got to try and play his life. Already Ye's going to backfill that space though. Take all that elbow control away. Force him towards CT. This is a full on retake 5v5. Here. Spike planted. No, that's it. Optic looked to push even further through. Crashies will find less. And that's an early kill to concede in this retake attack. Now I'm looking towards maybe the pressure that's going to come in from Luca. Victor does need to readjust towards Tube down to 73 HP. But there's been time now. And Sassy just finds Victor. Ye overextends towards CT. And the punish on the timing here. They've actually carved space for themselves. And timing, they've still been getting a little bit of a wiggle on here. But the fight towards CD, CD is found, and now Mark. Oh, what? Mark no gets way. Three from elbow, get, get, get. the rest of his team. It, you know, the burst. Hang on, though. They would have actually forced back into this. Get out of here. Well, we've got stingers coming out. We've got no armor behind it, though. So it's purely stingers with a little bit of utility. And that's about it. This, I mean, this could dampen the next yeah. purchase, so what can they achieve off this? Let's, let's see. And first contact found nice. in the success. Sarsi's already got it. Yeah, he's dead. And now, if you're Optic, you're not expecting this. And there's more damage. Loud and making it count. Flipping the script here in round two. Marv left to pick up the pieces here on short. The flash actually should just catch him, so noting presence there. Crashes on the other side. Nothing to act upon. Launching smoke. Oh, that's it. Still got two towards long here. I mean, Sassy's got the upgrade. Really, this rotation coming through from Les, but he's only got a frenzy in hand. Sadak wisely respecting this. Oof. Thought he was going to sit a little bit deeper towards CT, but actually, Marv wants to provide almost more. Maybe down. take him out of this hole they're sitting in towards getting up to close and personal to the sting of the man. Absolutely tearing into them, and he has at least given them a 1v2, right? Like, he's done the best Thank he could, God potentially. This flash could be crucial. Okay, confirms his attendance. Spots one towards heaven. He now knows both the players. He wants the fight towards heaven, and he gets it. And now looks towards the follow-up. Pancada creeping closer, and the pop flash has to be good. He's called him. A little bit of a turn, though. Pancada's got the gun back out. He's ready to fight on this attack on the spike. And the push! He sprays him wildly, and crashes. could not care. Damage achieved, though, Mike. All lined up. Seeing that yeah, there are gaps here. Some utility missing. Sassy had to go offset this now with the ultimate being available. Crashes on the other side will grab the orb in showers. Marv Dassey has the orbital strike online. Very early on here for round three. Could be key in a post plant scenario here as well. They can get themselves there. Actually, look look how gets far, ahead of it. Look how far he'd progressed. That, to me, was such a surprising factor that no one had noticed it until now. That same to be said for Aspas. No, no one towards it, but the trade comes in. So position now removed, bit of a one and done. Now what remains is well less. Still connecting, but the trade's still coming. They're really fighting for the site. Now, plant comes in. Optic should be able to get in towards a decent post-plant. See how far those Seekers go. They know they've got a little bit of time to work on this now. I'm not posted, but shouldn't actually catch anybody here, so... Somewhat telling in itself, but I'm going to give away the full picture. Yay posted on the angle. Ooh, the timing, he gets to look back, but Pancada picked up his teammate. And now the 1v2. And a slip the net here, fall the way towards the site and play the timing. But already on the site is Sassy sitting pretty. Pancada's on five. This is the <gasps> kill he turns! Oh he my god! back in time! Dips around, the movement's gorgeous, and Pancada is just hemorrhaging blood. He's got to get out of there. That's more than enough done for Ye. Big round for Optic. Just when you think Sassy's going to catch the god timing and find that kill. It's just, it seems like he's far too good at this game with everything. Um, and now we're going to see the knock-on effect of the money being um, shredded. It's, it's been left in tan. What? Sorry. Why is their stinger so much better than mine? And we talked about this last time. That's Victor, though. They've isolated him so early on. The Flash didn't even catch. Yeah. Yeah, he... <laughs> he smells something. There's something wrong in the showers, <laughs> man. It, it ain't looking right. 
I think he was actually spamming on the core of the wall. Actually, look at this though. Oh, Re-aggressing back onto Hooker. Yeah, they've doubled back into this with a little bit of presence shown One and a beautiful shot towards CT. Ye's patience pays. That's pass goes. And this buy that wasn't meant to be much, to be fair for Lau, did do a little bit of that initial damage on Victor, but it does seem as though, again, we're seeing that composure from Optic. This is what you want to be seeing, though. Keep control of these early moments, these early rounds, because you know that Lau have that capability to go late game and the flash. The flash caught Sadak. And the spike's going to immediately make his way towards B. I mean, FNS already got tons of space to work with. Marved gets even deeper. The Sadak, he's reading it. He knows. Yay is somewhere. Spike planted. Lurking back over towards A site. And yeah, he's got the info now. You just don't love the idea that this man is anywhere near you, just lingering around. Of getting a little proactive. We'll see with the previous catching Victor off. Well, now, actually, the Optic going to adjust away from that. A bit of info early on here from Sadak. We'll note long presence towards Fountain. Slight adjustment here to be less. Looking to just anchor from that hooker position. What a different tempo already. Now with the scoreline benefit, Optic can slip back into that more methodical approach. Late probe sent out here towards Showers. And expect either Ye or Marv to be tucked up there time and time again. But no confirmed information on the setup just yet. No. Victor once again left to his own devices. The flash will actually not find him. Did not give away that he was here, so might be able to find some value from this lurk eventually, but no real deep kind steps towards the site yeah, yet. Post posturing on short here and looking down. to get back behind that well, denial of information from Victor. Leave FNS in a position here, but it's only 25 seconds. They actually resort back towards a site. Do they clear him in time? Do they even use close utility on this? Aspas is ahead of it. He pulls the trigger on the first. Takes out Crash. He's playing Carter by his side. He's doing so much damage. 10 seconds now. Yeah, he's out though. Unleashed. And now with 10 seconds, they've got to get the pawn. Can anything deny it? The ult gets popped and he get the site under control. Damage achieved for seconds. Yay! Gonna just try and get that plot down. The spray goes a little wide, but that one connects. And now just the one man, and it's Sadak this time. Finds Jay and finds the round. And they get themselves on the board. That's just when the Vipers bit comes out there, you think Optic are gonna be able to set up a stranglehold behind that plant. FNS looking to slip out. Just take advantage of that timing. Pushing things up a little bit. You want to play a bit early round position. No default spread. It's three towards showers now. Fight Much different. Now yeah, he's on the tour de force. But this close play now for a second time, but Pancada's the one to succeed towards showers. And that's a perfect follow-up. Aspas is a real nuisance at the moment. I love this close hold. And it's gonna force Optic to be absolutely on their toes at all times. Pop flash through from showers, finds nothing. Crashy's just trying to forge any sort of steps ahead. Just cash towards ZT, but he's so surrounded here, slowly being closed in on by less. Full opposition scene, and there it is closed down, but Loud becoming really well equipped with dealing with this hit from Optic. Yeah, it's double Satchel you in here, try and find the kill, and that's... Got to be careful, I was going to say, with that Viper's bit being thrown down. Straight in. Victor gets ahead of it. Yeah, Victor's this is huge. closed through. Kind of the spray behind, trying to sell a tail, but it looks like Les is considering. I wonder if he's seen this. He didn't get noted with the Trailblazer. He actually did not. Still getting away with it. I feel like they're so aware of the possibility. Now 100% sure. Is it so much danger? 6 HP, he can't get away. Yeah, he spams the one to silence him. Now Pankata, Sadak and Aspas in danger. And they try and re-explore their options and Optica having none of it. Just Aspas now and for him, sadly, wrong site. Couldn't have left anytime sooner. I had to stick around just in case, but as it stands, Plant gonna come in and Optic, five strong. And, and credit to just the IGL here from FNS, reading that that Viper's bit is up, Victor immediately gets behind it. They can create so much pressure. I mean, Les is faced there with either letting it completely expire or challenging. Victor's done so well, so well to remove that control early on. Aspas just now left to hold on to the Phantom. Like I said, this was a slight investment, but it's going to be a big boom to the economy. Look at what's carried out of this round now, and they've had the upgrades. Still have the showstopper, which on a lesser purchase. Again, you can almost throw in here, but key to bring back. And it's only two for loud.
pressure towards A site. Now we'll have three here once again. See these here much earlier on. Information probes being sent out, the boom bot, the flash as well. Even just plant the seeds and potentially keep those three loud members locked onto A site. A much quicker peel away from this setup out showers this time around. The Sassy with great reactive utility here. Nothing noted on short. No, nothing noted on either side of the map. They sent out the Prowler and the Flash and got nothing on either side. So, so we're going to be kept guessing, noting the Optic will be playing with that, you know, slightly more tempered pace, sitting a little bit safer somewhere. And now with a lot of utility invested towards this B side, it feels so likely. So that close. Got to be careful here. That's your trade-off of headshots, I think. I think we've seen this lineup before. Yep. Observers well and truly were ready for it. Um, so clearing site pretty comprehensively, but already going to allow you to note there's probably tip towards CT or elbow. Site itself should be clear now. Victor going to commit. Seekers, He's gone fully into this one. And you're absolutely right. Seekers setting it into motion. TP taken. Yeah, going to at least find one of them. And now three standing. Pancada, Les, and Sassy, where are they? Two towards CT and one lingering around short, and that go goes less. Down. They're really running out of options here, and I think they want to keep these weapons. Yeah, got to settle for it here. It's another Didn't one loud, have to watch past them by. Nothing left here. I mean, Aspas on 2300, but you see Sassy down on 100, Pancada on 50 credits, even with the light shield. Marv actually looking to apply a little bit of pressure here. We can already see loud on the X-ray, though. Navigate their way towards holding onto these rifles. You noted it. Great reactive utility from Sassy, and actually on both sides here. Where this could be very punishing towards Loud's economy, this could now start spiraling while we're seeing that here. Trade of blows at the very beginning. They're gonna find Sassy. The fight back in on towards Marv, but apparently this one's gonna power on through. FNS, first foot forward towards the site, and Pancada left in no man's land, but he makes it his own. Tries to find the fight and loses. Victor reigning supreme. The plan gonna come in, and this is just, you know, pacey. This is powerful. And the other two players are really considered quite quickly on the flank here. Yeah, actually, if they can keep four alive here, they can effectively buy out for the rest of the half. Eyes go towards Optic and how clean they can convert this post plant. A Sheriff and a Phantom to work with. So good utility available, but... Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, that's a little bit of a can oh. opener there, isn't it? This is on the case. But there's, there's, not, there's not time. There, there just isn't time. You can see the setup. Unless, sadly, we can just try and hunt someone out here. But I think yeah, he's very much wise to him. <laughs> and he is. Yeah, you're not going to get the best of him in that. Optic, keeping three standing. Still moving forward well enough to build up their funds here. They're starting to get towards you know, maxing out money to a degree. And yeah, 9k really find the answer. So this timeout, hopefully, could be the catalyst to get back into this game. That's find maybe a little bit of room, right? A Do big something. big adjustment here. It's actually the operator posted up. Okay. to enable Victor to take some of this control. Yeah, Actually, previously, Loud looked great for mitigating this, but yeah, he's creeping onto the angle. Oh, time looks different when he's playing. It does. It Seconds really just does. seem so much longer, and these players are so damn good. That's Aspas, by the way. The Ye looked like he had an eternity to shoot towards. Now there could be problems, though. Got to be... Nerves there. Could have been a punish on it, but no, they actually get to keep their lives. Didn't get to gap close in time for Sassy. Now you give Optic time to set up behind that first blood. I'm not saying that's going to be checked here. He hasn't okay. played this spot just yet. Crashes okay. with the Trailblazer, though. That's what you got to hope for. And hello. Oh, dear. Not feeling good at that moment, are you? Still actually able to get one. So finding some value, even if not much. So we look to where this now swings, and it's back towards Sarsi. It's so early, though, that it's drawn the rotation, right? Pancada comes all the way across the board. They sight. He has to, you're right. Sassy has to go huge here for now. He's got a the last bit of utility, standing. but they're going back towards A. And now Pancada gets a shot at it. Maybe a chance to change the tone of this round across. Sure, now the they strike spikes and the, on the And the molly as well. They have to go for this. And then Crash, he's going to get away with his life for 10 seconds now. Ten seconds he's going to take some damage from this potentially. Let's see if that molly gets invested. No! Yay, yeah, denies it. And now saves security for the plan. Crash gets her down, and Sassy. Barely made it away from B site. I still had a move. He was so conscious of somebody being left in that lurk. Sure. Optic are playing so reactively right now. Loud can barely get a grip on when they should rotate because there's pressure on both sides. And Optic's ability to. Let's see. How does he still find that? How does he actually adjust and find that kill? Yeah, honestly. It looked like. 
almost doing better with them than the rifles. Here. Like I said, they just haven't had here. any opportunity to create advantages here. Loud have really been put on the back foot. You've got to give Optic credit in that regard. Oh, and the follow-up spam. spam. He reads it so well. Salek is getting punished now. First man found. There are two more to clear. Over towards Lamps, and Crash is already on the case with that. Does have a flash if he wants to really try and set something into motion, but they're just holding. They're holding yeah. to see if anyone dares to try it's and walk out from this. The same thing again. It's it's such a free first blood. The Optic can just sit there and let it sweat for a second. Clearing showers, nothing there. You're starting to get a little paranoid. Where are they? Where are these people waiting? Because again, look towards Ye. He already kind of explored up short. He had a little look towards you know, Hooker. Nothing there. Now he's falling back with the rest of them. They've been working out mentally. They've got to be in some ratty corner, which is exactly where they are now. Ash has got another flash now, yeah. There he is. put FNS in. And it's a fake flash! Oh my god. They fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. Back's turned. <laughs> FNS with the freeze kill to his life. Spike planted. Oh, Aspas and Sassy. Have to try and can. recover anything they can. And now it's just one. Oh no. You got Ye on one side. Spamming through the wall! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> There's going to be an Odin there in every ranked game now. Brilliant. Just what none of us wanted. And we go. Not as much information as they'd like on this, but now the confidence brimming with Optic. An absolutely glorious half hit. Even if you get through. Why did I even say it? Why did I think about it? The curse could come to life. But with the fundamentals being you you know, want to so play, gorgeous for Optic, play. really, really drilled. Got to feel this is the one for them. This map looking highly likely. Plenty of ops to invest as well for themselves here. Blinded. To wrap this one up with a bow at least into the first half. <laughs> Considering committing. Well, that's actually curious as to the placement of this Orbital Strikers. Sassy and Pancada have backed away for... Garden now towards elbow. You see the ping coming through onto the TP. I don't know if they've misread this flash, but they're creeping back towards the triple stack of loud. Hellblazer will find Sadak once again. That's all the pump. They've left Jay, yeah. And and look, this is just to punish the rotation. It's so smart. They show all of that leg. They get, you know, try and get all the attention towards A. Post Jay up into a two to try and catch one of them. Now, fortunately enough, Ken Carter, he's diligent as hell. He did not fully cross, and they're holding the site right now. Seekers go in, they've got to try and crunch towards Elbow. They need some sort of control. You know, have the ult come in, try and secure CT, and Ye going for it again. Trying to find any wall he can just to get the health through. Nightfall comes in, and now Vision is fine, but the audio cue is going to be looted. But Victor doesn't mind, turns the flash just fine. Back to business! Back to back kills! And Aspas, the last man standing. Viper's pit in the way, two holding the cross. There ain't no way out of here. He is surrounded. He is looking dead and buried. Down to 29 HP now. Yeah, he just posted on this angle. Would need nothing short of a miracle, but Optic happy to sit in this crossfire. Let this clock tick down and Victor to deal the killing blow. We're ready, prepared for so many different things that just never came from now. There was, ne there was never these crunches coming through that we had seen previously that found success. And early on, Jay and Marv, that's creeping all the way out here. Catch, less sleeping. Tuck him in, put him to bed. Spike will come through, but a man advantage here for Optic. And the post plan's going to be interesting. Do they try and fight back for shower control? I feel like you have to. You can't leave that unaccounted for. And doing it early enough should be quite indicative of this repositioning the timing towards it. So they've taken a fair amount of space, but they should be worried about short. Overpush towards CT, and it pays. Gonna find FNS and Victor. Now you've got to worry about those other two that slipped the net over by shower. They've come back around on towards short, and they want to try and clear towards lamps. Already crash, he's gonna find Pancada, but the response is instantaneous. Now Martin Ye, not gonna make it happen this time. Loud, get things started. More. Hey, yeah, actually gonna put a light shield in here. See how aggressive he gets with this headhunter. We caught early on here, but Loud have to respect this. The dip away already. Rotate with the spike. Actually, Sadak posted up here. Giving Ye a chance at finding a kill, but we'll be deterred. Yeah, terrifying prospect is just re peeking the angle. He's still looking for the opportunity here, Ye. Looking towards short now. Could have a fight towards less, maybe. Slipping back on through. 
Yeah, he's been pinged out, so you can already see the less did spot. Yeah, he's going to fall well, away yeah, from that. Yeah, he pinged him as well, so. Yeah. And it's actually a misread of information. They're going to now rotate behind yeah, it and look yeah, at the absolutely. spike. absolutely. They've already sent their way back through cave as well. Leaving B site wide open. Can't blame Optic for this. They've no, you have to almost overreact here. Yeah. It'd be very difficult to find their way back on here. Only classics, the headhunter to work with. Even Optic to just brawl for hookah here. Very good read for Loud though. Not giving anything away. Oh, less. Less. Really getting overwhelmed there. Yeah, just needs to keep his life. Dip away, get the heal. Because Optic are just ravenous for it. They're just, just roaming around as a pack. See if they could find anyone slightly out of position. And as it stands, Loud aren't really giving them that chance at all. Sitting super deep. Going to make them work for their dinner if they want it. I think Optic conscious of denying some old progress here. Ultimately here, this is preventing five orbs to come across. Ooh. The nade is nearly perfectly timed, but couldn't get ahead of him. Yeah, he'll find something in spawn here. That's it. Wants to come back through, and yeah, there's yep. less to find it. But denying some yep. early old progress. Really put the fire under Optic now. Make him sweat a little bit, because that is when it gets to uh, crunch time. If Loud can actually convert the bonus now. All goes up. Yeah, you got to stick around on the fight. Didn't dip away on the first try. Less desperate to try and get behind that Prowler, but... It's the second time he's fallen first. Removing that second controller from this composition. Actually, removing a lot of that short control on the back of just that wall. Early flash comes through. Crashes will note presence. FNS on the other side of things as well, so... They're going to know that they've drifted away from A here. And yeah, he's going to get played in a little on this one. Sack popped beneath window. Prowler actually, yeah, actually notices him. Fantastic work. The pop flash is beautiful. And the combination on this from Loud is just stunning. Brilliant synergy on this lovely utility work. And Pancada firing on all cylinders here. Takes out FNS, controls elbow. That is now a secured site. There's no way back through for Victor or Marv. It's another scenario as well where they flip a 4v5. Loud come through, and this has got to be read by Optic, right? The back of this, with less falling, there's, there's, there's no real threat towards short. And with a trap outside showers, especially with that early information, crashes flashing through hookah, FNS seeing that trailblazer. He said it. I'm going to convert this bonus. Game back on. This is where it gets interesting. This is where we start talking about those key rounds, Mike. The ones that, you know, financially and depending on the economy can really have that knock-on effect. It will be slightly off kilter with Victor and Marv bringing through rifles if they can yep. get anything done here. And that's not loud. Choose to reinvest. Optic actually going to call a timeout as well. But ZFNS is desperate to try and get something. That'll be loud bringing it back, resetting the economy and bringing it basically within three rounds. Oh, then, uh, then call, it's it, call it two. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a whole different scenario, but we wait. And initially, last time around with this, Les got punished by Ye. FNS can take it a little bit lower, lingering around these walls, but it'll be fine. I'm just going to dip back towards lamps now. Again, we've seen these defaults being held. Nothing too much of a worry yet. I do see the commitment towards Hooker, though. I've just watched this as well. FNS and Les just facing off in terms of the toxin cooldown. <laughs> you can see it's just back and forth here. Unless it's being given no control. I was talking about previously how important it is that he dies early. To hear at least the pump has caused FNS to play a little deeper here. It was now they're stacked up on this now. Yeah, and, and sadly for the two players, the Optic on this site, they're the ones that only have the frenzy, uh, a sheriff. It's far from ideal. And they're going to try and step a little deeper towards CT. Uh, yeah, he's and tucked the up on this. TP was to. Oh, oh my god! Oh, how is he alive? Ash Bash flies out of there! And yeah, he's just baffled, dazed and confused, but Victor's got Sadak. The spike's not planted. This fight's on multiple fronts, but it ain't over yet. We're all out of the wilderness, as now it's just Ash Bash. Tell me how Optic of Three alive with rifles now, and I'll tell you 
none of us saw it at the start of this round. Aspen slow. Good for one. Oh my god. One for two. And now just the 1v1. And the correct guess. Victor, none the wiser. Forced to pull the trigger. Oh! Aspas, the unthinkable again. The 1v3 in the final seconds. How? But what a round to potentially instigate further impact. Six to ten now, Optic. You thought they'd had enough. You thought this was good enough to go, and then you just had one of those rounds. Yeah, you're starting to push up a little, though. Yeah, trying to... I mean, another tool to try and disrupt Lesser's control yeah. on short here. Actually, the Prowler might even him out. Yeah, he's a million miles away from his TP, but he's actually using the wall to his advantage. Oh, oh and he suddenly turns back. A one-for-one one trade out and a terrifying surprise for both sides. But he's going to spot at least two, two more players there. So with the three players behind them on the A side, they're feeling a little bit more secure in this if Loud carry on this way. But there's every chance they could potentially turn their heads the other. 50 seconds, still yeah. a little to play with. Crashy. What a rotation though. Seek is coming in. Now, this might stop them in their tracks. They may not hit this rotation button any further. No, they're still sticking around here. I've got your train. And now the commitment comes in from Loud. Straight towards the side they go. Seek is back on the other side. Going to spot two players. Crashies peels away, respecting it, but what? no respect. On the way back in, Salak deleted. Less finds a trade. Crashies on a heater right now. Literally. Pancarlo's got him. And now it's just Pancarlo surrounded, but reached the flank. Did he consider Victor's positioning? He's looking the right way. And it's absolutely not the right time this time. Victor's got it. Making up for those moments before. His head back in the game here. And that'll be 11 for Optic. And thank God for that. Optic stepping a little closer. To paint the bigger picture of it. Let's see what the buy does end up being. Okay, it is going to be the Tour de Force and what we kind of saw. And that um, operator for Pancada. That's still He's posted really... long. He's literally posted behind Fountain. Maybe wanting the challenge so they know the Tour de Force is there. Well, they note it very early on. Mm. So they know Ye is now playing towards B site. Do they read towards this just being the two-man hold? This is where you really start looking towards the tools they have to pressure Ye even deeper. Off some of these angles. Sadak overwhelmed, though. The double swing on showers comes through at the perfect time. And yeah, he's not necessarily backing from this. Finally, he's going to dip out and look towards long. This is where we do see if Pancada does succeed. This has all been building towards this, but yeah, he is quick as all hell. <laughs> Crowd's behind it. They know there's a chance of it. Teleport's ready. And while all this happens, so many players don't need pressure through. Who could the timing? Yay! Just about swings around in time. They exchange information, but they both get to keep their lives. But look at the teammates falling like flies around them. Pancada only has Sassy by his side now, and Ye repositions deeper on the angle. This battle is fine for Optic because they've got others left. standing. That spike is still left in the hands of Sassy. Where does he yeah. go with this double up on long? Try and run away elsewhere. You've got 20 seconds. I mean, Pancada just can't swing this. He can't. To know that the rotation's come through already, Ye's already posted on a deep angle. You've got to assume there's going to be another stacked up. No, not two. You almost Five felt it was fated, eight. but now the slow Ten to make things left. worse. Eight seconds. The spike now fall in Pancada's hand, but it's all been given up. This concept, this theory did not work out at all for Loud. Pancada not getting what he wanted that time. And again, yay, the discipline here. It, he's, he's always on. Optic have really slowed things down now. Yeah, and Loud have to dance to their tune as it stands. Already you're going to have that Viper's Pit so to deny info long. So much that trailblazer. And yeah, he's up close to this. How long does he stick with this angle? That is and actually doesn't get away. Punished quickly in the site, looking a little bit more vulnerable. They're going to flood on forward. Marv there, though, connects with the first dip to way slightly down. further. Sits deeper towards Sharon just to keep his life. Keep that what? space! Pancada plucking Victor out of the air. Crashies diving in towards the site. You're going to see the Vipers on the other side. Now invested towards the site. For the timing. Oh! He's got a shot in it! He's got his ult! The bullet goes astray, and you're absolutely right. Mark does have his ult. He's going to invest in, and it's just pandemonium. FNS going to find Aspas trying to back away, but the 2v2, the plant's going to come. He's got to know. Five it's been planted. adjusted. FNS has seen him. He's seen everything with this. And Marved again from the shadows. This man is always behind him. He's got another. And now the one man in the ult. That is it. Less to try and turn the tides. And he's been found. FNS has him. Optic. I've actually got us to finals now. One apiece, the best of five is back on.
13 to 6, Mike. That was a big performance from Optic. Mark.